Hello Internet, I'm Zushgada007, welcome to my Uberhood. I'm playing Julian Cook today and I'm hoping he'll be a little bit more interesting this weekend. Although I'm saying that I don't know if he's got work. Let's check. He has work all weekend. I think we're going to make him Skype today. Let's go see if we can do something interesting. All his sats are green, so we're just going to go straight downtown and hang out somewhere. Let's see. Let's go to Goffier Green Lawns. I can't remember if this is the one I gave a makeover or if that's in my gender swap doobahood. I mean, technically I gave them both makeovers, I just can't remember what kind of makeovers I gave them. Hmm, no, this is a boring original one. Uh, who's that? Oh, okay. Uh, should I be worried? Oh, it's not a boring original one. So that means Skip Broke should be in here somewhere. <laughs> ah, is that him? Yes, there's Skip Broke. Oh yes, by the way, I moved the face cam from that side to that side purely so that you could see the queue. I just thought it would help. I'm fairly sure I sent the original Tricus over to House of Fallen Leaves, so that would be why their graves aren't there. Yes, I made this whole place a kind of ghost hunter's central. So now they've got a coffee bar and some snacks for those late nights when they're looking for ghosts. Oh, and there's one already. There's John Smith. Hello, John Smith. What are you doing out and about at 8 a.m. in the morning? <coughs> Did your grave get struck by lightning or something? <laughs> this place only seems to be kind of half made over. I could have sworn I did more to it than this. Hmm. Maybe I didn't. But anyway, I got rid of a grill that used to be here because I would have Sims come along and make hot dogs. Hmm. And then they'd pop them inside one of the bathrooms. But of course, because the bathrooms are male, female only, whenever somebody would put them in one bathroom, you'd end up with a whole bunch of people who couldn't get in there. And they, of course, were kind of pissed off about that. Right, so, where's John Smith's grave? Is it still here? I'm assuming so, seeing as he's here. Unless he's just kind of floating around with nowhere to go. Right. Where's Nislet? Kiernan, I'm probably pronouncing all their names wrong. Hmm... Ah, there's John Smith. Or at least there's his grave. Who's that you're talking to? Right, where's my Vista controller? Band townies. Band out townies. Oh, whoops. And allow all the NPCs. Patricia one. Let's say hello to her. Oh, you like her, do you? Mm. I'm fairly sure she's dating Gabo Mackey, but I'll let you talk to her. Mm -hmm. Maybe that would jazz you all up a bit. Do you have chemistry with anyone else? Sophia Shock, Trisha Wong. Oh, Lola Curious, and Kirsten Lost. Marissa Cleveland and Rose Greenman. Gabriel Green. Gabriel Green. How have you pronounced his name? 
You can greet him next. Oh, it's Dustin. Is that Dustin Broke? Oh no, you're not Dustin Broke. I saw blonde hair and thought you were Dustin Broke visiting your dad. Oh, that would be because Dustin Broke is here. Are you visiting your dad? He's in the other one. <laughs> I just think that's actually kind of sweet that he's here. Unless, of course, he's come to give the grave a kick, which, to be honest, I wouldn't blame him. Skip broke was a mean ghost. Oh, you're going boring once again. How passy you be friends. Why do you want to be friends with a kid? Um, tell her a joke. I'll just let him get on with that while I wander around and have a look at who's here. Is that gone oil cap? She's fled all her 20 children. Okay, that's a slight exaggeration, but only slight. I'm a bit laggy at the moment. Who was that Justin Kim? What was that TV star Justin Kim and I missed him? Great Justin Kim! Get his autograph! That would be so cool if you could do that. I think you could do that in Sims 1, Sims Superstar, you could meet celebrities and get their autographs. Don't talk about hobby. I think the closest you'd be able to do in this game is talk to him about film and literature. Mm -hmm. Fine, be that way. Ah, it's Cassandra Goff. And her hair's working today. Say hello to her. Greet Cassandra. Is she visiting relatives as well? Nothing her relatives are all at home. In their own private graveyard. Jenny Smith. I think most people are over here at the coffee shop. Yep. Who's my silly? I don't know who you are. Okay, let's see who has gone over. <laughs> He's actually made all of the tribe two teams playable, which is why they're showing up despite me banning the downtownies, because that's usually what they are, downtownies. As I do intend at some point to resurrect the tribe two family. Whose name I'm probably mangling hideously. But to do that, I need to send John Smith's bastard children off to the university. So, I'll do that at some point. I still don't know who you are, Monsignor. <laughs> 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 People are making a right mess of this place. Mm -hmm. She's not interested in your conversation. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I have to fix that flashing blue ceiling. Yuck. That's never best. Let's stick to this angle where we don't have to look at it. Maybe if I do that I can do something interesting with the front of this place because I swear I had a different arch over the, over the gates to make it look a bit more interesting. Right, if you're hungry I think we'll send you somewhere to dinner. I know I'm saving up for a telescope but still. Let's go 
it's for 125 cafe. And then I think I'm going to have to buy a crystal ball and plan my date. Hello, Dash. Do you want to come and be in the video? I'm just going to say hello to everyone. Say hello, internet! Oh, this is my fat boy Dash. <laughs> he's uncomfortable with all this attention, so he's going to go and sit on my laptop now. Get off it! I don't like it when he makes that noise. Oh, I've got some interesting one to roll. I imagine it will vanish immediately. I'm not going to lock it because I want them to be friends with Peter Otis. He's seated. Look how they all come running out and be all like, let me serve you. Finally our lives have meaning. He's about Baldwin. They're talking or if it's just being drowned out by the music. Is that Tara Cap? Yes, that's Tara Cap. Really tempted to give her some little cat ear accessories, but she's wearing a hat, so. <laughs> and voila! It's a bowl of something. Is that Brandy Broke? Yes, that's Brandy Broke. Can you afford to eat here, Brandy? Is she eating or has she just gone to play on the piano? Just wandering around, I think. Just kind of standing out there, huffing in the air. Yeah, I bet I'll get Julian to talk to her afterwards because I like her in the boat. She's one of my favourites. I mean, unless of course it takes an hour to eat his yellow mush. Good on the piano. <laughs> he looks like he's having fun. Ah, it's movie star Justin Kim. Probably wishing he could uh, play the piano. Bill now. Let's see who we can talk to. Is Brandy still here? She's over there doing something. Oh, she's playing chess. We have Justin Kim. Let's go greet her. Say hello. Muscle in on their chess game. I do like these sort of board things, but it's difficult getting a good view underneath them. Okay, where is Julian? Let's chat to her. Has that gone away again? Could you just follow me here? Well, I'm really not liking that I can't hear voices, so I think after we talk to Brandy Broke, we'll go somewhere else. I think I was clicked on her. <laughs> Let's 
go home. This um, Peter Ross was on the phone, of course. As soon as I said that, I started hearing voices. Soon voices. Or any other kind of voices. But it's lots difficult to look around anyway. Come in, Pika! I've tended to cancel just so I can talk to all these cool new people. But no, he's going home now. As soon as he gets home, I'm going to save. But as soon as he gets home, I'm going to have him pick up that can of rubbish. And clean up the mess. And then I'm going to save. Oh, roaches, yuck. Get inside before you start getting the urge to stomp on them. That's alright, he's already coming inside. Okay, you need to pull. Exterminator. But first of all, I need to pause and save. Exterminate. Oh, and that looks like your newspaper. Let's take that and do the crossword. Quickly before somebody else has a chance to steal it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Thwarted. That's right, run away. And uh, when he's done, he can pee and fix that shower. I'd call a repairman, but we can't really afford it, and it's not electrical, so there's no chance of him dying. When are you going to get that list, that logic skill? I should have made him play on some chessboards while we were out about. That's an idea. I think after a short nap, after you fix that, then we'll go back out somewhere. Oh, okay, maybe you won't. You know, I'll let you go to work today. You got stuff done. Or will I? I haven't decided yet, we'll see. Yeah, I think I'll send you for a nap, skip work, call Peter, and then go somewhere with a chessboard. Use that. Don't know. Why did he just burn himself on the shower? <laughs> no, get back here and finish fixing it. You can do it, Julian. I believe. Well, I believed in you up until you hit it with a spanner, because that's probably not going to work. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Let's get ready to counter that. There we go. Nearly done, Julian. Oh, you're really bad at this, aren't you? You have zero mechanical points, that would explain it. Go, you've got a mechanical point and scolded yourself again. Hey, roaches are gone. Are they gone? Or are they just kind of left in a heap on the floor? Well, I don't see them. All I see is butterflies, which is a massive improvement. Oh, good, you've finally done it. Okay, you can mop up that mess. Yes. And then you can have a nap. Actually, you can have a. Sofa nap. 
seems you are really just nothing. Right, you can snooze till like mm, two o'clock, I think, and then I'll wake you up. First, we'll just sort of sit here and creepily watch you shuffle your hip back and forth. For another hour. <laughs> You can't unsee it now, can you? <laughs> oh, okay. When I said I'd let you call it, uh, nap until two o'clock, I expected I would actually have to wake you up. All right, Peter, where are you? Be our friend. Oh. Okay, fine. We're going out then. We are going somewhere with a chessboard. I think perhaps the library. Is it in Blue Water Village? No, it's in Belladonna Cove. There we go, Bel Belladonna Cove Public Library. And hopefully that will get rid of his desire to run everywhere. But I know there's a chessboard here. And there's several of them, yes. Alright. Let's get ready to watch Julian Cook play chess for four solid hours. Who's that? Tiffany Sampson. How many points do you need? Two. Let's see if we can find someone interesting to share a chess table with. I see Desdemona Cap is interesting, but she's also a teenager. Oh, Priya Ramaswamy. Join us, join us! Who's that Loki Beaker? Ooh, actually that would have been interesting. You're not Priya! I specifically said I didn't want you, Desdemona. What are you doing here? Never mind. She's watching at least. Or at least she was until we started talking about soup and she was like, actually, you know what, I don't care. So, ah, cook, huh? Food? Yeah, generally. Usually grilled cheese sandwiches. But I don't say no to cola. I want to give a glories. Is that Bianca Monty? Yes, that's Bianca Monty. Oh, I've put all the walls down. <laughs> I don't want all walls down. Oh look, lots of pregnant sims. I'm going to imagine that they're having kind of baby group here. Where they all talk about their birth plans and what drugs they're planning to use and smugglers are like, I ain't bothering with any drugs, I've had about 20 children now, they just all pop out when I cough. And Bianca's just like, oh, it's gonna hurt so much! What if they snip me? Oh, she seems happy though. Hurry up, that logic point. Been getting that one for nearly half a week now. Bianca's got pregnancy cravings. Bianca just wants to kill things. In fact, she's looking for games to keep all her hundred children distracted. Okay, not a hundred. I think she's got five here. Her pregnancy was an attempt to fulfill Dora Optimus's lifetime want of having six grandchildren, but then she went and died. Hooray! One more to go. 
Oh, no, that is the second one. Even better. Right. Okay. Um, talk to some people. Say hello to Samantha. She's your friend. I think. Is she your friend? Secret room. Mm -hmm. Do you own a computer? I'd buy your computer game, but I don't want to. No, if you're hungry, you can go home and make some grilled cheese sandwiches. Can't afford for you to buy snacks from the vending machine. I've still got to get a telescope, so I will send you to work tomorrow, but hopefully you'll get promoted. Oh, you still need two friends. Okay, go home, chat to Peter. And then you can eat. Alright, oh, of course it's still two o'clock. Haha, <laughs> you have time to eat. Do you have leftovers? Yeah, you got leftovers. Even better, that means you don't have to cook anything. I don't care how much you want to serve grilled cheese, just shut up and eat. Unless, of course, there's no grilled cheese sandwiches in there, in which case you can serve. Nope, there we go, grilled cheese sandwiches. Enjoy. They're still hot. Sounds like Undyne's fridge in Undertale. She's got a magic fridge that heats up food. Oh, okay, you're just going to look at it, are you? You are going to eat it. Really slowly. Speed you up. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll go tomorrow. Right, and then you can take a quick shower and call pizza. And then if we can, we'll see if we can make friends with Patricia. Now will you be our friend? I'm going to lock that one now. Jesus, your relationship's at 96. Why are you not friends? At bloody last. I think I'm just going to call Natasha quickly first as well, actually. Because if I can make her be our friend, that's the two friends we need. And then that means we can just make friends with Patricia for friend he wants. Come on, 92 and 94, you should have been friends like 30 relationship points ago. to look for my mods, I'm sure something must be stopping this. Because a relationship above like 60, you should be friends. And Natasha's at 100. Maybe she's being really stingy with her friendships. I tried Jody afterwards as well. Just to see what happens. Oh, goody, he's friends with her now. That's just to be on the safe side, call Jody. Maybe the chemistry has something to do with it. Oops. Come on, Jodie. Oh. 
Yeah, if I call her at 1am in the morning, she's going to shout at me and you know it. No, have a wee first. Then you can go to bed. Who wants to be friends with Gonorill? Okay, well, let's try calling Gonorill. I don't care if you pass out on the phone. Make another friend. I think he'll be able to get friends with her before he has to go to sleep. Ah, damn, those cheese sandwiches are spoiled. I forgot about them. Oh well. So I'm lurking outside. And then I'm pretty sure he'll have a sense to go just take himself to bed. I say, as he cries at me because he can't get himself to bed. Uh, I'm gonna save. Right, come along, 6 a.m., where are you? What does he have work? 10 o'clock. Now what's buzzing? Did you leave a plate on the table? You left your plate on the table, didn't you, filthy git? Call yourself a chef. Eat a grilled cheese sandwich, but that's alright, you've got some leftovers still. I thought you were still on double speed. <laughs> right, this time, once you've eaten one, I'd like you to put the rest away. Then you can recycle that newspaper. Then hopefully it'll be early, just early enough for you to call someone on the phone. It should be 37am now. relationships up a bit. Try calling Natasha again. First of all, you can clean up your plate, you filthy git. Let's start with Natasha. If that still doesn't work after work, you're going to have to invite her over. Invite her over and make her have grilled cheese sandwiches until she's your friend. Why are you so acquaintances? They're best buds. Super BFFs. Yeah, not to decide. Spend the entire hour on the phone to her. Is that relationship actually dropping while you're on the phone? It is. You're really bad at being Natasha's friend. Was <laughs> it so 98 when you picked up the phone? Don't insult her art, no wonder it's going down. Do you have interests again? Absolutely nothing. Food, culture, health, travel. I'm going to have to buy you another magazine at some point because you don't like anything. Julian! Julian! You spent the entire hour on the phone with her and the relationship actually went down. Yeah, he's going to have to invite her over after work. 
but he still does have the two friends he needs for promotion. So, come on, Julian. Natasha invited me over and tell you you're very sorry you were so horrible to her on the phone. Yay! Oh, who is that? Jeff Rutherford. Cool. Do you have enough for a telescope now? Yes, at last. I should press it's just out here in the garden, I think. Do some stargazing tonight. Of course, now you don't need those two logic points, but never mind. Invite her over. Oh, 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 my desha, Akva. Hey, Baba Tondishi. I'm going to have to get rid of that darts board eventually because everyone just flocks to it. Ashata. Let's see, have I spawned the AC? Stuff. I haven't. Shoot somewhere. And maybe if I'm lucky, your booty call someone. Say hello. <laughs> you just open the doors and like grilled cheese birds, grilled cheese friends forever. You can go join them. And you can all just sit nicely and watch Teddy together and be friends. <laughs> Ooh, we need better time bang, 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 bang. Maybe once the video finishes and the sound will fix itself. Well why it does, that's very annoying. Ooh, if it doesn't fix itself soon, I'll turn the telly off and put some glass on. Oh good, the relationship's going back up again now. Make a hug her. Give her a friendly hug. And turn it off. Friends! Not friends? Why are you still not friends? Give her another friendly hug. Then you can put something else on. Usually that works. Seriously? We're just ditching you now. You will be friends with him. I guess her relationship with him is not high enough. His relationship with her is nice and high. But that's the only thing I can think of. He needs to stop being rude about her art. But let's have a look at what her relationship with him is like. Selectable. 
Oh, 27. Yikes. That's not good. <laughs> that would be why they're not friends. I am going to have to buy some magazines. I'm going to zip out quickly and get some now. Last time, where was it? Uh, I've forgotten. Come and go, Emporium. Yes, that was it. Right, go and buy that joke book How to Make People Feel Good Instead of Bad. Good how to Make People Laugh Instead of Feeling Bad. And don't come back until you can be nice to her. You need friends. Right, magazines, magazines. Is that magazines? Yes. Get three of them. Then maybe you can learn to be nice to people. Right, which one was that? Don't think you had that one. That was the one you had. So let's get the rat base one. Um, the Youngson magazine, purely because lots of people seem to be interested in toys and stuff. Which one was that? The Highbrow Review? Nah, let's get a superstar report. And now you can pay for it. No. Nobody's allowed to date Amber Louie. Everyone seems to love her home. I wonder if it's because she owns like 90 businesses in town. Do you know what he's doing? Nah, me start. Fadish. All right. Go home. And then you can read one of your magazines. I don't actually know what Natasha's interests are, so <laughs> that may have been completely pointless. I'm from Nottingham, but it has to England. Help. Their names were Jane Torval and Christopher Dean. Right. Give a gift, that's very nice of you. But do you have anything other than your magazines? Oh, yeah, you do, you have a photo. But I don't think Natasha wants that. Let's find something nice to give her. Let's give her a plant. What's that? It's a fairly nice plant. Let's give her a plant. Okay. It's all your money, but never mind. Good gift. Read about crime because everyone in this neighborhood is extremely interested in crime thanks to all the burglars. For you, <gasps> Brochie's best friend. Please be my friend. Oh, she liked that. That's good. Mm. 
Oh, that went up by one point. <laughs> A whole point. Maybe the food one went up faster because he's coded to like food. I don't know. I'm just guessing. What's he reading about with summer? Money. Money. Yeah, that's gone up by a point as well. Read about climbs somewhere. Read about climb till you're bored of it. Read about climb until you can hold a civil conversation. And then I think I'll have you watch a cookery show. And everyone can join you. <laughs> now, what are your thoughts on crime? Well, oh, getting there. It will rain it. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like each other. Mm. So, oh, I think mm. it's outside. That's why it's a different colour. Mm. All right, Julian, come along and watch some telly. Change it to the yummy channel. Oh. And then where's Natasha? Oh, she's using the toilet. Let's ask her to join. Oh, okay, let's not ask her to join because you need to pee now instead. Just talk to Jeff then. After you've peed. Randomly make cocktails at somebody else's house. How to make friends and influence people. Have a game of rock, paper, scissors, see if that helps. No? Oh, fine, soggy then. Oh, well, that's giving me an idea. Maybe playing red hands with Natasha will give that friendship a little boost. I can hardly hear it. I was wrong! How about a game of Kiki Bag when everyone likes Kiki Bag? Yes, Kiki Bag! And the best bit is, I can get Chef to join in as well. Unless he's already joining in and that's why he's walking over there. No, nope, he's going to try and play... Whoa. ...darts. Ah. Play Kiki Bag with us. You have to walk all the way around, but you can get there. <laughs> Yay! Aww. Friend making! Oh. Lana. Right, I think you're going to have to say goodbye to everyone now. It's getting a bit Baby. late. Now you need to have something to eat and have a shower. Oh. Let's see, grilled cheese sandwich or grilled cheese sandwich? I think I'll give you a grilled cheese sandwich. As soon as I can find it. Yeah. Where is it? Go it's here somewhere. There we go, grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, Alright, yeah, stop doing that now. <laughs> bye bye, go home. It's not my fault you left your shitty magazine on the kitchen counter. There, is that better? Not my microphone off the desk. Okay, now you can actually resume cooking. And you're not allowed to go to bed till you've had a shower as well, so wake up. Fast forward that a bit. Heat up.
and then put your plates away. God, this is worse than getting my daughter to take her stuff out to the kitchen. She mostly remembers now, but every day I have to tell you to take your plate and put it in the dishwasher. You're a grown up. Right, well, unless anything interesting happens between now and 6am, that's it for this video. I'm sorry he wasn't particularly interesting. I think part of the problem is, is that he has no interest in anything, really. So he alienates everyone around him, which makes it very difficult for him to build relationships with anyone. Which is not a good thing in this game, because this game, you kind of have to make relationships with people to progress. Never mind. Maybe next time he'll be a bit less obnoxious. We'll make him read lots and lots of magazines. But we're going to be going somewhere else in the next video, so I'll see you then. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.